Hi friends, it's Julia. I am here with my second Secret Sister layout for September 2022. When I went to a retreat uh, in Corsicana, Texas, we had a Secret Sister page kit exchange. So in my page kit, there were enough to do two layouts. There were enough to do more, but I chose to do two. Um, and so here I am just using those different embellishments you saw piled up at the beginning um, to bring this layout together. I, I had already put my background down and had already matted my photos and I'm just lining up everything since the photos take up a lot of space through the middle. I wanted to make sure I had just enough paper on either side. And because of the limitations of how much uh, embellishment we have with the kit. I really wanted to um, utilize what I had in the best way possible. So you saw there I took a, I, I don't know, I don't remember what it was, just like a little pocket page card maybe that was scalloped and I cut it in half and used a little at the top, a little at the bottom. And so now I'm looking to see what other things I can do with these cards. And I'm going to use that one to create my uh, journal spot. And so at the top of it, it said this happened. And so uh, I put the date at the top and then at the bottom, I put my journaling. But not right away. Sometimes when I put a journal card down like this, uh, a journal spot down, before I'm done embellishing, I want to go through and add whatever else. So in case I need to change my space around, if you will. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry. Still have a cough. Still don't have much of a voice. So I have this little um, piece that said Happy Snow Day and I made it into my title. I put it on that little piece with the houses and I don't remember what the sentiment says on there, but I just covered it up with the happy snow day and made all of that part of my embellishment cluster there. And so if you remember from the first secret sister layout that I shared uh, in that layout, we received um, or I received some buttons. They had a purpley tint to them rather than something I felt like I could use on here. So I had gone through and pulled in some buttons from my own stash and they were white and clear. And so I am going to use those on this layout as well. Here I'm using some more of that ribbon that I got in the swap to uh, put that tab on, put that little label tab on to decorate that label tab, if you will. <laughs> And it's just a little admit to, and I put that in reference to my husband and I being stuck at home. Uh, we had that year, it was in 2018, we had the big snow, uh, I think they called it Snowmageddon. <coughs> Excuse me. We both had off from work. Um, and so we just really enjoyed our time together, uh, snowed in at home. It was a nice moment. And you can see I'm cutting down different pieces that I had from the journaling cards or the pocket page cards to create banners. Like I said, I'm limited on the embellishments that I had, so I really tried to use what I had in order to create those embellishment clusters. Now that said, um, exploring a winter wonderland I think and so I just cut off the top part tucked that in and it says winter wonderland with the trees across there that little piece there doesn't have any verbiage on it it just has a little floral cluster and I'm just moving it around a little bit to see where I want it and it ended up right where it landed at the top um, I'm going through and I have two little banner flags under there and I think I'm, I'm going to put another one in so I'm looking at the journal cards and seeing which one I can cut down to create that. And so that's what I'm doing here. And that's a great tip if you have limited supplies, but embellishments per se, and you have tons of journaling cards, look at, look at them with a different eye and see if you can find different things to do with them. 
Here's the little bow that I created at the very beginning. Um, I love that little bow and I love making bows, um, but I don't use them very often as just a embellishment piece. But I ended up putting that one down at the bottom of the journal spot and it worked great. I had already threaded my buttons with some white crochet twine and <coughs> excuse me, I just used some glue dots to stick them down and my layout is done. Uh, I'll put my journaling on here in just a minute. I appreciate you guys being here and watching this video. Um, and I apologize again for my voice and my coughing. Uh, if you want to see more of what I have, um, what I received at my retreat uh, when I went to Corsicana in September, I will have a video up and I think it's called... Um, swapping with my Facebook uh, Love RTS friends. Anywho, so check out that. You will see all the supplies that I received, uh, all the handmade creations that I received while I was there. Anyway, guys, I appreciate you being here. I would love it if you would flip me a thumbs up, and I will see you guys on the next video. Have a great day, everyone. Bye-bye.